But well, here's the thing: is like I want to show you my titties. Is that okay? Oh no! I will. Well, let's draw your hair. Go ahead, yes. Marty. Yeah. Uh, earmuffs, please, earmuffs, and eye muffs. <laughs> I will say that. Can I tell you? I was telling the guys around the office today about what I was doing. And Jim, they were like, you're... how did Playboy Marty get this job? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're really dumping them. Yeah, I'm going to dump them. Oh, Whoa! my God. Now, this is a boob job. Dude. Okay. Oh, my those, Lord. Now, those are not called well, hooters. because I'm old head, man. But it's like, it's like, I get it. Go out there and live your best life. But women, you, you held to a different standard, bro, because one day, I'd anticipate the majority of y'all expect to be a mother. And in the age of social media, you got to watch how you fucking move, man. You got to. This shit is on the internet. This shit ain't going no fucking where, bro. And then you want to have kids ridiculing your motherfucking child because your, your mama was acting like a whole hoe on the internet, bro. You know what I mean? Or your fucking man. Like, unless you got a fucking weirdo, one of these different men who who allow behavior like this but the majority of men don't live in that world most men are gonna have an issue with you doing shit like that and then and then the clap back is you know i can do what i want with my body body autonomy blah 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 fucking blah that's all facts you can do what you want you can do what you want but you can't expect anybody else to do anything with you or have any connection or affiliation with you because of what the fuck you've been doing with your body Right? You're going to be a representation of who you with. You know what I mean? And ain't nobody going to fucking wife that, bro. Come on, man. Like, bitches, bitches, bitches got to think. I got to think. But, I mean, it, it doesn't. It's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. Because what, what I'm saying don't even fucking matter, bro. Because we live in this fucking world. Dog. You got you got these, you got motherfuckers out here with status and money wifing up bitches like this. That's why they feel, feel like it's okay to do shit like that. Unless you're just like one of these one percent of toxic, liberated feminist motherfuckers who literally, who literally hate men, but I mean, at the end of the day, come talk to me ten years from now and see how much you hate men. But it's just women have to hold themselves in a different standard, hold themselves in a different regard. You can't move like that. You can't. You can't, bitch. You can't. A very wide I man, but then they dudes are gonna love it. Dudes are gonna love it. But all all that's hurting is you. What you get out of that? Showing the titties. What you get out of that? Just giving giving money away for free. Just throwing the gold away for free. You know what I mean? A very wise bard once said, American woman, stay away from me. Don't come knocking around. American woman, stay away from me. American woman, mama let me be. That's Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was he talking to the modern women in that shit? I got to go back and check that song out. American woman. Stay away from me. Don't come knocking that around my door. door. I don't want to see your face no, no more. Yep, that's Lenny. That's right, because we're done with the American woman. <laughs> because her mind has been polluted and poisoned by the degeneracy that is Western culture. Facts. We want the African woman. We'll take a Hindu woman. Give us a Chinese woman. Yeesh. Give us anything except for that American woman. Yeesh. The American woman will lie to you. She Yeesh. will cheat on you. She will go have sex with 10 other men who was not her husband. She will ingest and digest all of their semen. She will get pregnant, kill the baby. I had to blow this one up, bro. Husband. She will ingest and digest all of their semen. She will get pregnant, kill the baby, then blame it on you and said she did nothing wrong. Mm. Oh, don't forget that child support. Mm. Proverbs 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. Mm. It's a damn shame. Mm. Bruh. And I know this is the question, though. This is the question. Is that stereotype more of the majority or the minority of this newer generation of the modern woman? I would say it falls alongside of the majority. I tend, I believe that most women 30 and younger engage in activities more associated 
with what he just described. Most women live in this world of abortion and taking advantage of the system and taking advantage of the double standards in the system and sexual liberation and modern values as opposed to traditional values, right? He, he gave you like the extreme case, which a lot of women fall within that extreme case. But I think the most, the majority of women side with that side of the spectrum. So it's like, what is a man supposed to do? What is a man supposed to do when he has his shit together, got his fucking bag, you know, ready to got them settle down and shit, dog? Like, take your ass overseas, bro. Because it'd be easier. Like, chances are you're going to run into more of that here than anywhere else. That toxic shit he just described, you're gonna run into that shit here, the modern woman, or in the UK, or in Australia, or you know, these Western culture type of societies, right? <sighs> Bruh. Bruh. I mean, that's 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 a conversation I got coming up with y'all. Like, what does the single successful man do with the current dating climate? You know what I mean, how does he avoid all that shit? How does he find the 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 how does he get the most bang for his buck in America? It's like damn near impossible. I may got time to be playing these games with these fucking stupid ass hoes. All right, next up. One point two million dollars. That's what it's taken for me to defend my boy. Now they're trying to take my boy's genitals and eventually kill him. That boy, that motherfucker said one point two million. Hold on. That's what it's taken for me to defend my boy. Now they're trying to take my boy's genitals and eventually kill him. So this is what happened to him. This is him at four years old. His mom, she is a pediatrician in Capel, Texas. She had my son on her website when it raises money for her. All the while she was complaining that I was posting pictures of him on the internet. So I pointed this out in court. The next day, that's how she put him on the website. Do you know the court did absolutely nothing about this? So at the time we had a court order which prohibited either one of us from presenting the boy in a way that he wasn't known to third party. Somebody knew him as a girl, I had to present him as a girl. That's me picking him up. She used to do this stuff to provoke me. She wanted me to be violent. Here he is a little older. She now dresses him up like a drag queen. Everywhere he goes, he goes to school like this. She's given him a fake name, Luna. Despite the fact that I've told the schools they don't have my consent to do this, I've changed his name. I'm headed toward a federal lawsuit with him, which is gonna cost me a lot more money. So I'm gonna ask you, if you can't stop this as a father in Texas, do your children really belong to you under the law? Son. Never allow the state to decide. You notice how I'm not gonna say marriage. Do get married or don't get married. But never let the, let the state decide how you're gonna live, what's gonna happen to your access That's to your- That's a whole bar, bro. That is a whole bar, dog. Don't let any of these motherfuckers dupe you into this marital system they got now that's tied to the states, to tied to societal standards, all that shit. Do what you want to do that's most convenient for you, most advantageous for you. Fuck tradition. Come on, man. That like, you mean, they would all uphold these traditional marriage values and shit just because it benefits the women. I mean, marriage is a, a, a shithole for men. There's no point in doing that shit at all if you're going to do it the traditional way. But why on earth would you do anything the traditional way when we live in such a modern time with these modern ass, masculine ass, Ho ass women. Why would you why would you sign up for that? You find the one you want that's really down for you, y'all gonna make it happen the way y'all wanna fucking make it happen. Do it do it do it the way that best suits y'all. And the girl got anything to say about it because you want to make sure you're you're good or both of y'all are good in them circumstances, she ain't the one you're supposed to be with in the first place and the digits of a favor. That's as easy but that's pretty much that's an easy way to fucking filter out who's really there for you, who's really not. You know what I mean? When you when you bring this shit to the table. They got some shit to say. Peace. Uh. You can't see it. <laughs> Let the state decide how you're going to live, what's going to happen to your access to your kids and your wealth. Bad news. Four to five divorces originate from women. Women get incredibly bored a lot faster in long-term relationships and marriages than men do. Men, it kind of like goes a little slow over time. Women, it's like, I do. Honeymoon phase, boom. A couple kids, boom, right? So you just have to understand that that's, that's, a, that's a propensity of the way things usually go. 90% of alimony flows to women. 80% of custody orders are awarded to mothers. There is zero incentive in family law, the way that it's written throughout most of the Western world, for women to behave well in a divorce. 
50% of first marriages fail, 75% of second marriages. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't get in a plane with a parachute if they said, well, there's about half a chance this parachute's gonna open. Bro, I've heard this conversation so many times with motherfuckers. You gonna sign your fucking life away with the 50% chance of this shit working out. You wouldn't get on a motherfucking plane if that shit worked 50% of the time. You wouldn't get in your car if that shit worked 50% of the time. You wouldn't have bought that phone if that shit worked 50% of the time. But you wouldn't, go, you wouldn't get married when you know that these shits don't work out 50% of the time. And the women are totally incentivized to leave and you lose everything if they leave like why on earth would you fucking do it why hi guys just hey, a daily reminder up? that i ain't never seen a man that i fucking need bitch. you're all replaceable don't ever get too comfortable and don't ever think otherwise you're a guest in this household and you can be kicked out just as quickly as you were welcomed in I just get so confused when I see these ladies that are using filters, a ton of makeup, drawn on eyebrows, fake eyelashes, and where you can still see the glue at the top of their head for hair that is not theirs. So confidently come on the screen and talk shit about men. How dare you? What you guys are seeing right here? Ooh, roasting, roasting session, roasting session. Get them. I ain't got to say nothing, dog. Holla at them. Get them, ETR. Here's a young lady that's angry because she feels as that she's attractive. So she expects to get fantastic options back in return of dudes nah. that want to marry her. But the thing is, is that these dudes, after they meet her, understand that she, she has a rotten offer. core. How dare she you? Got, she ain't got nothing else to offer besides that wop wop. Even if it is some wop down there in a pretty fucking face. And them the ones you need to fucking stay away from, bro. <laughs> bro, and that's how most of these motherfuckers be moving, bro. They think all you gotta do is fucking look good, and that's all and that's all I need to bring to the table. Bro, bitch. Bitch, if you don't get out of here with that shit. If you do not get out of here with that shit, dog. <laughs> hey, go pick up a trade, motherfucker. Do something. Yeah, you know I mean, fuck that, dog. That's so fucking annoying, bro. It's, it's fucking that's that's the the Cardi B, Meg Thee Stallion, Kylie, Kim Kardashian age of hoes, bro, where they just look pretty and that's it. All the while, you, you see Cardi B at the crib cooking and cleaning for her fucking man. I don't know what the fuck Meg Thee Stallion be doing, but I'd imagine she's going to be singing the rest of her fucking life. Um, she's the epitome of that fucking modern woman bullshit. She's not going to be happy. That's why if y'all, I just, I just switched, I switched gears just like that though, but uh, her fucking, she was with a, uh, uh, Party, what's his name? Party Fontaine, a rapper. They was together and then he broke up with her because she was on that fucking modern woman shit. It's like, bitch, you was on some shit. Like, bitch, who you fuck you think you talking to? You know what I mean? Like, I'm not one of those. Like, a woman got to treat a man like a man and she don't come across as a woman that treat a man like a man. So she gonna be a woman like that by her fucking self rest of that goddamn life. And most of these hoes and, and the type of shit Meg be putting out results into women acting like this. You have the lack of decency to come up here and to talk about men as if men are inferior to you. The difference between foreign women and American women. The foreign woman supports her husband. She brings him food at his job. Mm. He's working a blue collar job. Mm. This is what American women would call dusty. Mm. She brings him food at his job. She's dirty. She, she still kisses him That's and she's hard. well dressed. She's it's traditionally old school, bro. That's how it was back in the day, man. Not no more, though. Not no more, no. Y'all missing out on all that nuclear family type shit. That nuclear family love, bro. Him, she's by his side. She's supporting him. And then the American woman is about this. The one thing I could never relate to is how people enter relationships because they feel like the person has potential. They're going to be working their way up and being big one day. Let me tell you one thing about me. I ain't no damn ride or die. Oh, no. If you're working your way up, let me know when you make it. Okay? Because I'm not trying to struggle with yeah, Get your frumpy ass out of here, bro. And then, like, <laughs> I got to talk shit. Why, why, does she feel, why does she feel like she can talk like that? It's because she a woman. Because she a woman. Feminist movement and the soft ass men that made her feel the way that she's feeling. She's entitled because she gets like she got a lot of options because dude is thirsty, blow the fucking head up and then she listen to Cardi and be talking to her little toxic friends and on social media her head is fucked up through the fucking clouds. Got this bitch up here talking about she will never be a ride or die. She going, she waiting for a motherfucker to be at the top. Why would a motherfucker at the top want to be with you? I'm going to talk shit. I'm gonna talk shit, bro. <laughs> talk shit, dog. Let's get it. Somebody and go through the mud. 
I'll meet you at the end. Let's let's exchange numbers when you're the CEO. Mm. See, that's night and day. We're yes. raising up women to be men. Yep. Yep. And you are not applauded for your femininity. You are applauded in the. I ain't a, Cause ain't none of them fucking feminine. And then goddamn the motherfuckers that are feminine, they tear the motherfuckers down too, talking shit about them. But it for your femininity. You are applauded in the contemporary society by how tough, rough, nasty, mean, aggressive, hateful, possessive you are, and you are climbing the corporate ladder, but we are losing our families. I know you can buy your own car. I know you can buy your own house. But until you create a need that I can pour into, I have no place in your life. So stop coming home bragging to me about how much you don't need me and wonder why I shy away. Bars. Bars. Mic drop. Mic drop. Um, but... I just did a video about the reason behind that shit too. Like, you know, everybody lives in this space. All these women live in this space now. The modern woman space. I don't need no man. I have. I'm independent, strong, independent. I can buy my own and all this shit, dog. Follow the dollar. You follow the dollar, bro. Society has tricked all these bitches, tricked them all into being a man. And then now you a man. Don't no man want no motherfucking man. But keep on spending that money. That's what society wants.